to the Jinlong Technologies Solus Inverter YouTube channel. This video will get into the installation of your Solus Wi-Fi stick and Wi-Fi box. The Solus Wi-Fi products are simple to install and will allow both installers and system operators quick access to their PV system information by simply logging into the Solus cloud-based monitoring platform from any internet connected computer or mobile device. These Solus Wi-Fi installation instructions will apply to any second generation or fourth generation Solus North American single phase inverter 2.5K through 10K. The installation and connection of any of these Solus Wi-Fi products should be done by qualified installers. Okay, so you can see that I have two Solus Wi-Fi products out here on the table. The Solus Wi-Fi stick and the Solus Wi-Fi box. Now, for this Solus NEMA 4X rated Wi-Fi sticks, you don't even need any tools to install it. It'll simply plug into the bottom of the inverter. So, hey, let's unbox this Wi-Fi stick. Here you can see on the, on the bottom here, you have the serial number, and then on the inside we have a set of instructions with a serial number sticker, and that should match the actual Wi-Fi the sticker that's on the Wi-Fi stick itself. So there we go, uh, 845, 845, okay, that all looks good. So you can see it's a completely sealed unit. We're just going to plug it into the bottom of the inverter. It's got a four-pin plug there, two for power and two for communication. It's got a key on there, so we're going to plug it in the proper way and then tighten it to the inverter using this ring. Uh, you don't twist it using this, it'll tighten it using the ring, and that's the installation of that. So, let's look at the Wi-Fi box here. The Wi-Fi box also has the serial number on the outside, has a set of instructions here. Hmm, I don't see the no sticker on that. But then on the inside of the box, we got the power supply. Well, this is a 120 volt power supply, it's a NEMA 1 device, unlike the Wi-Fi stick. It's uh, going to require you, if you're outdoors, you're going to need to put this inside of an enclosure. If it's a metallic enclosure, you're going to need to move this antenna off and then put that outside the box. It's got four LEDs on the top. It also has a serial number there on the bottom. You're going to need that for installation. And then you've got a plug here. You can actually hardwire this guy to your local router. Or you can plug, and you will use this plug here for the Wi-Fi box cord that comes with the device. So, this cord here has both these connectors on it that look very similar to the connectors on the Wi-Fi stick, and it has our RS-485 jack that will plug into the Wi-Fi box. So, uh, if you have uh, just a few uh, uh, inverters, maybe just one or two, maybe the Wi-Fi stick is the way to go. Uh, but uh, if you have more than three, maybe the Wi-Fi box is uh, the more economical way to go. You can monitor, you can put a splitter on here and monitor as many as ten inverters off of this one box. So that's a good solution for uh, uh, systems that have multiple inverters installed. Install the Wi-Fi stick. You should first notice that there is a slot in the plug here and a key in the receptacle. So as soon as you uncover the Wi-Fi port here, you'll see the key in there for this slot, and you just just put the seat that just right there. Now, rather than tighten it by the silver part, tighten it by this ring here, push it in a little further, tighten it up, push it in, seat it perfectly, and then tighten it down, just finger tight. Now, to install the cord, you can see that it's basically the same thing. You've got a, a slot in that same uh, type of plug, and, and indeed, you've got the same sort of tightening ring on that. So that's how you make the connections of the Wi-Fi stick and Wi-Fi box to the inverter. Uh, as soon as you make the connections, uh, it'll take about 30 seconds to boot up and then it'll be ready to be paired with the local router. Remember, your inverter uh, power light, uh, the red LED, should be on during this process. You are going to use the Wi-Fi box, and you are going to monitor more than one inverter with that. Like I said, as many as 10 inverters can be monitored with that box. In that case, you, the installer will have to assign each inverter a unique address, uh, 0, 1 through 10, using the buttons, LCD, and menus inside the inverter. 
You can do that by, remember, always going into your Enter key first to go into your submenus. And then you can down to Settings, enter that menu, and then again down to Set Address and enter. Now the default address is set as 01, but you can change it here and then for each inverter you've got attached to the Wi-Fi box you'll assign it a new number 01, 02, 03 and so on. What I do is, is go into my settings area and see what's going on with the Wi-Fi uh, connections. Okay, this is an Android device so I'm going to go to Wi-Fi and I can see now that uh, I've got a few networks available and one of them happens to be this AP underscore and then the serial numbers that match my 845, 845, that's it. So I'll choose that network and it's connecting now to that network but you'll notice that well this network isn't connected to the internet so it gives you that kind of message but that's really not a problem for us here. You can see it uh, has no internet access, but not a problem. We're just going to do this pairing here locally. So now that we're connected to the Wi-Fi stick, let's open up a browser, any browser, and uh, we're going to put in the IP address of the Wi-Fi stick. That's 10.10.100.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
and we can see the status. And under status, we can see it's enabled, and now we're associated with the home network here at this site. Signal quality is not too bad, but most of all, I want to make sure that I can that I'm connected, that I'm pingable to that remote server. That's perfect. That's what I wanted to confirm. Now we can get on the web and register this site on ginlongmonitoring.com. If I'm going to register this site on ginlongmonitoring.com, I think I'm going to have to change my Wi-Fi connection. Yes, I don't have an internet connection right now because I am still connected to that small Wi-Fi stick network. So let's change that to the account that's active here on site and uh, get connected. All right, so I can go here and open up a browser. And when I do that, I should go to ginlongmonitoring.com. This is the monitoring platform. So ginlongmonitoring, all one word, dot com. We can click on that, and that should bring us to our registration page. Here, we can either sign in if we've already got a site registered on the platform, or we can register a new site. So we can just press register now, and that'll bring us to our uh, first page of the new account setup. So here, you're gonna put in your email address and a password of your choice. Let me do that now. Okay, so now I have entered in my password uh, of my choice and an email address that'll be associated with the account. So uh, now let's press next. And uh, now we get to the second page uh, for creating your new account. And on this page, uh, we're going to put in PV power plant. Uh, it could be wind, but uh, of course we're going to be doing PV today. And then a um, site name of your choice. You can download a, an image if you'd like for this. Um, then put in the address of the site, uh, country, state, city, uh, street address, that sort of thing. Uh, keep the number format just like it is, I think. Uh, you can use Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, put in your system size. Now, under feed-in tariff, uh, you might uh, change this to U.S., let's say, and you could put in something like uh, 0 0.10 for 10 cents or 0 0.15 for 15 cents for your typical price that you pay for your uh, kilowatt hours each month. Now. Importantly, you want to make sure this box is ticked to make this site public, and you really want to make sure that you get your serial number in. This is your serial number that's on the stick itself. Uh, register that uh, at right in this box here. Put in some contact information, and then you can just click complete, and you have completed your registration of your new site on the monitoring platform. Congratulations.